you guys so a couple of truck drivers are like there's a really good barbecue place over here um i'm gonna go check it out right now i love coming to these kind of places to stay the night i always tell you guys you get to walk around town you can you can see what they have out here out here you might be able to get a drink whatever this is way better than truck stops and you guys can stay at these shippers or receivers especially they have like a little town out here where you can get some good food good morning everybody uh we just got checked in there's three trucks in front of us and there's one guy over here but he hasn't checked in or woke up yet uh it's gonna be a little bit she said probably hopefully not by nine o'clock but um hopefully they're pretty quick their lunch is at nine so they get here at 4 a.m so we're gonna try to we're gonna pull to the stop sign um i'm gonna watch how fast they load these trucks and hopefully i get loaded by nine so i can get out of here by 10 o'clock i guess but we'll see what's up guys so it's about 10 o'clock right now they just put the first bundle on we are not looking too good i gotta do this math uh i think it's a thousand miles to socal and uh if we get out of here by noon now i'm thinking <laughs> uh might try to drive the 400 miles which is 6 366 ish seven o'clock shut down and uh roll out five maybe still get shut down i gotta really look at it we're going through a lot of back roads and up all these hills and stuff like that so um uh, it's gonna be very tight to get a 34 in. Uh, have to leave by like the latest, I think from uh, Ontario, California, Petro to Anaheim is like 30 minutes. So the latest I can leave is three, uh, 2.30. So I have to, have to be shut down by 5, 5.30 the latest. And if I can't, I might have to do recaps. So we're gonna be very tight. We gotta do this pretty quick. And I'm hoping this guy's quick because they only took one, uh, two trucks in two and a half hours. But the guy told me they only had one forklift driver. Now they have two, but I, I, I'm not sure. Man, this is, it's gonna be very tight. So we'll see. Hopefully he can get us done in less than about an hour and I can strap the tarp in an hour and get out of here by noon. That's gonna be the plan. bundle right here and a belly uh put a belly on that one uh, as you see this bundle is two pieces it's right there cut in half so we got two coming down on there one right there in the middle uh and then two right there uh also this one you see the strap coming down on these two bundles and then that one's helping it and then one here in the middle which is this bundle at the end it's coming down there's a belly there's one at the end so three on top three on top there and a belly and a belly look pretty good same thing on here on the other side you'll see there's three there a belly we have a belly there uh three is on top of this bundle and then you can see right here these two are for this part of the bundle and then there's this bundle which has two and then that one it's for this bundle right here so that bundle up there has four. Uh, this bundle right here, you see? That one and these two. And you guys also always have to make sure there's one in the two in the front, one there and there. All right, you guys, it's 12.05. 12 o'clock, we got out of here. It's our truck job. Really good. I gotta cut these bungee ropes that are on this second layer. They actually are a uh, full length 48 foot long shock cord. So I'm gonna try to cut them and make them uh, into bungees. As you see, look at this shock cord going from, all the way from there, this white one, and all the way across. So I'm gonna tighten this load up one more time. We're gonna get out of here and hopefully we can still make Home Depot and get a 34 in. 
Good morning, everybody. It is 6.10. We're rolling out here. We just got our inspection done. Um, we're gonna get fuel in Wetamucca, which is about uh, 100 miles from here. And hopefully we're still looking pretty good on time, but uh, the fueling is gonna be, it's gotta be quick, because 10 minutes, 15 minutes in there. Uh, can't go inside and do all that stuff. So we're still looking at about five o'clock doing the math. We have 640 miles to run, 630, yeah. So we should be all right and we should be able to get there in 10 hours, 10 and a half plus our 30, that's 11. If that's the case, we should be there at about 510. We cannot be later than 530 at the Petro. So let's get rolling. Let's hope we can make it 5, 530 to Ontario, California. What's up everyone? We're here in Lunning, Lunning, <laughs> Nevada off the 95. Uh, it's about 90 miles from uh, Tonopah. We were going to go there to do my 30, but I have to go to the bathroom and I'm not going to stop here and then just keep going. So I'm going to do my 30. Bad news is we're not going to make it to get a 34. So I need to figure out with recaps. I know Monday wasn't a great day. So I'm gonna do the math on that. And we're going home anyways on Friday. So uh, I didn't ask to go home this weekend, but like I've told you guys before, Central Oregon, where I live, is said they'll try to get me home every weekend. And this is one of the loads. Uh, but I can't do it at 34 with the 4 a.m. appointment. Now I'm gonna be pissed if I get to Home Depot at 4 a.m. and they're gonna tell me, uh, they're gonna work me in or I don't have an appointment or something something goes sideways at Home Depot and I'm there for a couple hours I'm gonna be pissed off that I didn't get a 34 but I think we should be all right uh, being I need to be home by Friday I can probably just suck it up for the four and a half days but I just wanted to max out those four and a half days and run 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 so it is what it is you know we tried but uh, they had a construction site where it was one lane, so you had to stop and wait for the pilot car. That took about 15, 20 minutes right there. And then fueling alone took me about 15 minutes to fuel. So there's no way by the time I get to Ontario, it's gonna be about six o'clock. So we're gonna shut down there and then we're gonna roll out Monday. Um, probably gonna leave at like 2.50, three o'clock since it's about 45 minutes. Uh, to get to home people from Ontario. So uh, I'm gonna get to my need and go to the bathroom and head down the road. What's up everybody? We're here in the La Mirada Home Depot Distribution Center. Just got checked in. The guy actually told us to go to the, towards the back. I'm really shocked. Um, I didn't expect this. I thought I was gonna get here and they're gonna be like, oh, you don't have an appointment or something's gonna happen. 4 a.m. appointment at Home Depot. Uh, never happened for me, so um, we're gonna head back over there right now. It's a very small 
This is one of the smallest uh, Home Depot DCs I've ever seen out here. I don't know if it's just like a specialty place, you know, where they're carrying certain product, but not selling a lot. I'm not sure, but it's, it's really small here. If you guys look it up. So we're gonna head towards the back right now. Get on tarp pretty quickly. Hopefully get out of here by like 5.30. Try to beat the LA traffic. As you guys can see right here, this is our next load to be picked up. And uh, we're not even unloaded yet. So, so far every load's been bombed in before I even got unloaded. Um, so we're gonna hit Fontana and then we're gonna try to run our clock out, which we're not gonna have that much. If you guys can see, you go on the homepage. Uh, probably have five hours and 18 minutes left for the day. So I'm gonna try to get out of here before traffic. And I'm gonna look at where this place is at. And uh, this will be a good opportunity to get my equipment from Salt Lake. So uh, they're almost done. We got two forklift, two forklift drivers on this. So hopefully we can get out of here before traffic.